What is up guys, it's Mike here and today I have a special review for you guys. I got this truck a couple months ago and I haven't opened it because it's I didn't know if I should keep it or get another one. But we ended up getting another one so we're opening this one. So today we're going to be looking at the Kings of Crunch 1996 Bigfoot number 5. Alright, so first off, I just want to say that this truck is amazing. So this is the only Kings of Crunch truck I have. I wasn't even gonna, going to think about getting these trucks or anything like that. But the nostalgia with these trucks is insane. So Bigfoot number 5, um, a lot of you guys, if you don't know, it's the Bigfoot that had these huge, huge tires on it. I actually saw this thing live um, when I was like, maybe, when I was like... <laughs> eight eight or nine maybe seven and it was it was huge it was absolutely huge and bigfoot as you guys do know is my all-time favorite monster truck from growing up watching it at wall stadium and raceway park and you know english town and all that and wildwood bigfoot snake bite grave digger those were my three favorites no matter what and i really wish spin master since they're making all these trucks I wish they would make this body type because there's so many custom trucks I want to make with this 1996 body type and sadly Kings of Crunch they're hard to find I actually never ever ever saw these in a store I actually don't even know where to get these I know Walmart and Target don't carry it but I think like Tractor Supply uh, Bass Pro Shops it's like weird stores like that like something you wouldn't expect and they have them but yeah so kings of crunch i ended up getting this in an unboxing video um from the toy mafia west coast toy mafia good guy if you guys ever need trucks he, you know he'll send them to you and you know you might have to pay a little bit but they're always in good condition and i highly recommend going there if you go the ebay route but yeah kings of crunch so i have no other trucks here <laughs> on this set but um i might get bigfoot one if i can find it usa i remember that truck you know earthquake above and beyond all these trucks i remember uh i was very really very really um small but you know monster truck vhs tapes and stuff like that always had these trucks on there so the thing with this package is i actually need scissors to open it because it's such a pain but yeah we're gonna open this and we're gonna take a closer look at this thing and i'm i'm really excited because this thing is really cool looking so let me go grab some scissors and we'll pop this thing open. All right, so having opened this truck, um, these packages are really hard to open and they're like the old classic 90s NASCAR packages and stuff like that. So like, yeah, it's, it's quite the fun. But yeah, this thing actually looks pretty cool. It's pretty heavy. Um, I would compare it to, if you guys know, like Ice Cream Man or actually, you know what, um, Higher Education, the weight of that. So let's take this thing out and actually get a good look at this truck here. Wow, that's pretty cool, dude. That is pretty awesome. Let's move the camera in. Right, let's take a look at this thing. So Kings of Crunch, Green Light. I think that's the name, right? Green Light? Kings of Crunch, whatever you guys want to call it. Really cool. This is pretty sick. So these tires feel huge. And this thing rolls pretty good. This truck is pretty... Actually... Yeah, it's kind of like this. Actually, a little bit heavier than Ice Cream Man. If you guys have the truck Ice Cream Man from Spin Master, I love the blue paint. This is pretty cool. This truck is really skinny. Wow, oh, dude, this is done really nice. The door open. You know. So yeah, one thing I wish um, Spin Master would do is make this body type. Um, if you guys grew up in the '90s like me and you guys remember trucks in the '90s. There's so many legendary trucks with, you know, the Ford 1996 pickups and stuff like that. And wow, I think it rolls pretty good. But yeah, this thing is pretty cool. So I wish they did because I can customize so many of them. So let's take a look here. See. The blue paint is awesome. These tires. Um, well, one cool thing with these uh, green light trucks, you can actually take these tires off and they come with a kit that you can put different tires on and stuff like that. Um, I feel like they did an amazing job on this, dude. This is the first green light truck I've ever actually looked at. 
or even got for that matter. You see the steering wheel on the dashboard in there? That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I don't know if that's what a legit F-150 looks like because I've never driven one. You got all, what, look at that, that's pretty cool. The bench seat. Wow, their attention to detail is insane. You got the truck down here. So one thing I want to compare it to is, this is a 164 scale. So I want to see how big it is compared to a Spin Master truck. Well, they're about the same size. Oh, you can customize them pretty good. So they're about the, the same. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have already done this, but I haven't. <laughs> but yeah, this is it, man. The Bigfoot number five from Greenlight. Really cool truck. I was not expecting ever to get this or anything like that. I think this thing looks amazing. Greenlight did an amazing job. All their die casts, they're like really good. Um, I don't know that much about them, but this thing looks pretty cool. It rolls really good. So maybe we'll see this in the series. I don't know. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool though. Just randomly uh, big put number five with these huge wheels. But this thing is actually really light. I thought it would be heavier. The detail on it is really good. All the sponsors, everything like the actual legit truck is on it. Um, these tires actually don't feel like rubber. That's one thing I noticed. They're definitely not like Spin Master tires. But yeah, Bigfoot number five, quick little review for you guys. This thing's pretty cool for you guys that grew up with it like me. It's definitely a trip down, you know, memory lane or whatever. But um, really cool truck. Really happy this came out. I don't think this ever came out in a die cast form before this. So pretty cool. And yeah, so I hope you guys like this. This is pretty cool to experience this. Oh, wow. It even has the windshield wipers on it. That's pretty cool. But um. Yeah, like the video, subscribe. I got way more uh, trucks coming up. We're going to start reviewing Mix 6 now that I have basically every truck besides Outlaw. So we're going to review that this upcoming week. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next couple of videos. Wow, this thing is pretty cool, dude. That's awesome.